All right, so if you've been here for a bit, you know that I love some comparisons in my gloves. So we have, oh, put that here. We have two Syrahs this month. One technically is a blend with the Senso, um, but the American one is Sonoma Syrah from Purity. We have several of their wines this month, so I couldn't knock it y'all into in the Red Club. Um, and it's called the Blackbird. It's from 2016, and it is got a lovely deep extraction. And it's generally a, I don't know, it's a great comparison to the Rhone Noir, the French version. So let's just start with that and go on from there. So quite lovely, darker extraction, um, decent amount of age on it as well. So when you look at the rim, you can see that it's like a little bit lighter on the outside of the rim versus the inside. That also shows aging over time. So on the nose. So this wine has lots of dark fruit, black cherries, has like plums, not really so many on the berry side, but I will say, or well, on the berry side, they say like blueberry, blackberry, bramble. Like I would definitely say that it goes down that route as far as like categories of wine. Uh, and then it also has like lovely baking spices, like a little bit of cinnamon. Um, not so much on like the leather front or like tobacco, maybe a little bit of tobacco, more so than leather or anything like that, which is a departure from the other one. Let's try it. Oh man, that goes down so smooth. <laughs> so this is definitely like if you have a someone that is not that sure about natural wines, but loves their, this is not like a Cali cab or anything like that, but like it has like the depth and like the heft of California wines that people that you know love their oaked Chardonnay and oaked cabs would appreciate here. So this could be a good gateway drug for them into natural wine. Um, but anyways, back to the wine. Mm. So everything I just mentioned there, dark cherries, bramble, baking spices, a little less of tobacco, but I also would say that it's like more earthy on the palate. Like it's like a I'm not like forest floor. It's not, it's not delicate like a Pinot Noir. It's like, <laughs> I don't know how to describe that, but like an elephant in some ways, like it's not, yeah, it's not delicate. It's like, I don't know, dirt in a good way. Like, like just the earth in some sort of pit. <laughs> I don't know, but they're like, not, not like some little lovely delicate flower. It's like intense. Um, so thinking about that and thinking about what to do with it, I would certainly put it with meat, if you eat meat. Um, I think it could stand up to like, not like steak, but not, I don't know anything about what the types of steaks are. So not your fancy steaks, not your super fatty ones, but like whatever, like the entry level, like it's not, yeah, or like steak tenderloin. I don't actually know how that stuff's described, but I had it recently and I feel like whatever that was would be great with this. It wasn't pork tenderloin, but it was cow made kind of like uh, pork tenderloin and that would be great for it. Um, again, like all these like baking spices and stuff, like you could put it with all kinds of stuff that has a lot of spices with it. Um, but again, not spicy, don't make it spicy food, but <laughs> it has spices in it. Uh, so that could be like, I think I've said tagine so many times this month, but like also going back to the tagine could be really great here because of all the baking spices. Um, also just thinking about what you can do with it. Like it, it's yummy now. Um, and if you're having some like heftier food in August, which is when we're putting it or September, I guess we're putting it in, um, you Oh no, it's August. <laughs> you, if you're having this in August, like if you're eating something hefty, do that. But you could also just save it. Um, it would definitely last for several more years. Uh, and you could put it with stews. Stews would be great here. Beef stroganoff. Wow. Yeah. Like that's, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to wait on this one because I corvond it and I'm going to wait till we have like cold days, which are coming very quickly here. And uh, put it with either beef stroganoff or some sort of like stew when we make it. So again, like meaty meaty territory if you can go that way um but not like a steak that's where that's what this wine deserves so enjoy <laughs> 